Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you real quick a website that I stumbled upon the other day, uh, doco.com. And at first glance, you know, it, it may seem like just another informational website, you know, for, for traders and investors, but, but there's actually much more here than meets the eye. It's, it's actually a really, there's a, there's a really ingenious um, SEC filing search engine which actually takes the keywords that you want and it plots them on a on a chart for you which I think it's 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 ingenious and um, I've never seen anything like it before it makes it much easier to quickly glance at the financial um, status of a company so let me give you an example real quick um, DPW, this stock ran the other day. It gapped up in pre-market and then pushed up just above 10 and then failed. Now, if I type in DPW, as, as I said, at first glance, you know, basic stock information. Um, it has the news here, some uh, financial data here, um, broken down by year. Um, some interesting content analysis of the keywords in this SEC filings, um, which I haven't gotten too in depth into quite yet. And it of, of course it has your filings broken down by section. But let me show you what I use this for. Um, this button right here, if you click on this where it says chart financial data, it takes you to what I was talking about before. You have your keywords on the right hand side and then you have the chart, uh, the plots of those keywords on the left hand side. So for example, if I wanted to uh, look at the outstanding shares and see how they've, they've changed over time, I just type in outstanding and then uh, go scroll down to the phrase, the key phrase that's appropriate for what you're looking for. So in this case, what I'm looking for is the common uh, stock of shares outstanding um, or entity of common stock of shares outstanding. So I have these checked by default, as you can see. And um, if I were to uncheck them, you'll see on the left side, the chart disappears. If I check it again, uh, the chart appears again. So anything you check will appear in in a new chart on this left hand side. And as you can see with DPW, um, as we know it's a highly dilutive stock. You can see the um, the outstanding shares have increased over time, especially in 2018. And this um, sharp fall off here, this is a reverse split. You know, went from 73 million down to 23 million shares and then more dilution and then an, another reverse split in 2019. Um, so this is a really neat and quick way to quickly see um, you know the financial status of a company you know rather than going to a site like BAMSEC um, and pulling up digging through the SEC filings that way um, in I mean I for the outstanding shares in the previous example I would have to go to every 10 Q and then um, look out the outstanding shares in each 10 Q um, down the line to see how how those outstanding shares have changed and I would have to do that it that would take much more time than simply just instantly seen it on a chart. So you can see the utility of this site, of how it, it plots your keywords on a chart over the past five years, which is pretty amazing. And you know you can look at the warrants, just type in warrants. Um, you can look at the convertible, type in uh, to see if there were any um, convertible notes. You know, it pulls up. Um, I haven't gotten too far into it, but as you can see, I mean, anything that you care about that's part of your strategy and that you want to um, you know, look at, you can pull up on the right-hand side, 
plot it on the left hand side and instantly see the, the financial status of the particular ticker, which I think is really cool. Now I've been in contact with the owner of the website and he's a really cool guy. Um, I've, I've any type of uh, feature that I've requested, he's implemented, which is amazing. Um, you don't run into many um, owners of, of companies that are, are that willing to work with uh, just a random person. So I, I think that's really cool. I totally would pay if he did um, start charging a subscription for it, but right now it's free. You know, this is a free service. You just sign up and um, you have instant access to all of this information. So um, uh, one more thing I want to show you. If you go back to the main page for the stock here, um, this is another feature request that I, I asked him and he, he implemented. I, um, it's to show the reverse split. Now, this may not seem like a particularly unique f or special feature because any uh, charting platform already has this data, but actually he pulls from different sources. So what might not show on your charting platform will show here. Uh, so, for example, if we go back to DPW and um, if we go to the daily chart, you can see here in TOS, it only shows the one split in March, but it doesn't show the more recent split that happened. And this, is, this happens in many charting platforms. They only pull from one source for their reverse split data. But if we go back to Doco, you can see it not only shows the reverse split in March, but it also shows the 1 for 40 reverse split in August. So, like I said, he pulls from three different sources rather than just one source. And, and, and one of the sources is also the SEC filings because he has direct uh, access to that information, which is really cool. So, so anyway, that is just a really quick rundown of Doco. There's a lot more here that I didn't get into. Um, I mean, it, it charts out all the stocks with earnings, with um, uh, all the recent IPOs. I mean, there's much more here that you can you can get into. It's just for me, what I look at is, like I said, the um, that chart data. You know, go to the screen button and you, then you get the instant access to the S SEC filings and any keywords you want plotted out on a chart. To me, that is valuable, valuable information. Uh, I just, I just, I give huge props to this guy for just thinking of this and, and implementing it. And keep in mind, um, he, this, this guy is continually updating this website. It's a fairly new website, so um, it's still in its infancy from what I can tell. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this website grows over time and becomes even more uh, diverse and more detailed in the information that it's giving to you. Um, I believe this is very cutting edge and the next evolution for us traders and being able to easily synthesize and um, dig through SEC filings and the financial information of, uh, of any stock we pull up. So, and, and like I mentioned before, if you have any special requests, just send him an email um, and he'll probably implement it. You know, he's totally open to new, any ideas um, that I've had and he's implemented every one of them, which is, I think is just amazing, you know, that he would just listen to some random stranger and, and build his site upon, you know, my requests. I, th I think that that's, that's a sign of a good ownership of a business when they respect their customers like that. And, and that's just the icing on the cake. Um, from what I can tell, there's probably much more that will come from this website in time. So I just encourage you guys to support him. You know, like I said, right now it's free. Um, but if he does decide to uh, offer a subscription, I would definitely, you know, pay for it myself. And I would encourage you guys, if you value, if you value this kind of inf information like I do, um, I think it's worth, you know, whatever um, he would charge, as long as it's a reasonable price. 
But anyway, um, that is doco.com. And if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. And uh, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. All right, guys, take care.